if you have the opportunity to volunteer for SFR at some point during the year, please do, because that, that's what makes these rides happen, and uh, we can't do it without the volunteers. So, uh, plug Thank for that. Thank you, volunteers. Thank, Thank you. You, you rock. Thank you. All right, here we go. First purvey of 2024. San Francisco Randoneers, January 27th, doing the Dillon Beach 200K. This is kind of a special one. We're actually starting in Richmond in the East Bay. Normally we start in San Francisco by the Golden Gate Bridge, but uh, this time we're actually doing a dual start. Uh, starts at the Golden Gate Bridge and also at the uh, marina in Richmond. And here we are just cruising along, uh, going over the Richmond Bridge. It's a beautiful day today. It's gonna be a great ride. Lots of good people, it's a great turnout. And we're just cruising along here. Gonna be hitting up uh, the bike trail here near Larkspur. And something to be aware of with these trails is that there's all these poles here. We gotta make sure to call these out because we actually had a rider wipe out on one of them and took him out of the ride, sadly. So aside from that though, it was a, it was a great day. And this is my first time actually riding on, on this trail. I quite enjoyed it. It was pretty nice. Uh, jump forward a little bit here. I got a flat right before Fairfax. So this is uh, the descent coming up into the, the Woodacre area, uh, going down Sir Francis Drake. And I'm gonna be catching up this, to, some, uh, to some other riders and make up for some lost time. And I love this section here. It's always so beautiful through here. And we're gonna make our way to a descent that's gonna be right before Highway 1. It's pretty fast this end. Uh, it's kind of broken up in some places on the on the road there, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch out. And then the Highway 1 comes up pretty quick too, so you gotta make sure to slow down in time. Um, but we're only on one for just a minute. We're gonna turn left and then head up to Inverness and do a quick out and back. Um, there's a pretty good climb up there and now we're just turning around and coming back doing the descent fun little twisty sort of descent um, picking up riders along the way and when we get to the bottom here actually comes a point where you get a, a good little peloton uh, behind me so we'll see that here in just a minute cruising right along there they are. There's all those happy, smiley riders. All right, coming back up to one. Gonna take a left into Point Reyes. Here, we're just cruising through here. Uh, to the northeast of this road that just parallels it, on the other side of these buildings is another road with, uh, we've got a park up there. You can fill up your water bottles and use the restroom if you need to. It's a good kind of stopping point. And now we're back on one, which uh, we'll get some good views of Tamales Bay and just kind of take that north all the way up to Tamales and then we'll turn uh, turn towards the ocean and head towards Dillon Beach but this was a pretty good section I was uh, I was actually cooking it pretty good I was feeling feeling good um, and again trying to make up some lost time for that flat tire it only took me like I don't know 10 minutes or something to replace that flat but it was in the back of my mind the whole time that that was lost time and I just felt like I had to make it up I guess but I don't know I was probably pushing it too hard I was definitely pushing it too hard let's say and uh, I was a little overdressed as well um, I was wearing a long sleeve face layer and also a long sleeve wool jersey and it felt great in the morning, but as the day went on and it got warmer and then I got warmer for riding, it was just, it was too much. Um, yeah, I said it was going to be like in the mid to, mid to high 40s, I guess, in the morning. And like, oh, I better, better get all dressed up for that. But yeah, it was, I could have done with a lot less, let's say. But uh, yeah, it's always good to see other riders out here on this section and just going through all these little towns along the way. Gorgeous day, nice and clear. 
rode with some awesome people, as usual, with the SFR. The roads are so twisty and climby, just up and down the, the whole way. But we're almost to Tamales, and um, we're going to be turning left here very soon towards Dillon Beach. And there's this this general store here coming up on the on the left side there. That was closed for a while, but they opened back up thankfully because that's a good little stopping point too. So I have rider ahead of me, that's Charlie Martin. I've ridden with him a bunch of times. So we're just heading on up to Dillon Beach. Got these nice green hills. Definitely nice to see some some green these days concerning the last few years. Got tired of seeing just dead grass everywhere. Uh, but now we got a pretty fun descent here heading into Dillon Beach. See another rider already making his way back. Got caught behind a car here. Um, maybe that wasn't such a bad thing now that I think about it. I mean, some the, the road was kind of wet here as you can see and uh, you know, it's probably a good idea to take it a little slower around those turns so my wheels didn't slide out from under me. But here we are at Dillon Beach. We made it. Halfway point. And there's this little store here that the randos usually stop at. And it's always nice to see some familiar faces. Stopped here for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Bought a coffee and a donut. And yeah, I spent $9 on coffee and a donut because we're in Dillon Beach and apparently you do that kind of stuff in Dillon Beach. But anyway, now we're back on the road. Uh, now it's time to make our way back. So a good chunk of this route is an out and back, um, mainly on, on one by Tamales Bay, but uh, making our way back to to one from Dillon Beach. We see a bunch of riders still making their their way up. Um, recognized a few of them. Always good to see other riders out there. So trying something a little bit different this time with my setup. Um, I actually just have my camera mounted on my handlebars and Charlie was looking at it and he was like I think you're gonna get your Garmin in your shot I'm like nah it should be fine well I mean we can we can see it a little bit down there I mean not that big of a deal I don't think I mean, we got the side of my levers on there too I don't know still still figuring all that out but again I don't think it's that big of a deal I still got some pretty good footage I think Almost back to Tamales, we're gonna to be turning right to head south on one. And we're gonna be going back the way we came, meeting up with some other riders um, on the way back. And I, I always enjoy this section. It's fast downhill, twisty, and then you gotta climb. A couple other riders. Riding through all these towns, it's always, it's always so enjoyable. I have yet to stop at any one of these places, though. I'm always just going. Um, should really stop and smell the roses sometimes. I think. But there's always next time, right? There's always other rides. I know I said it before, it was a nice, clear, beautiful day. And that always makes for an enjoyable ride. And a lot of other riders, both in SFR and just other people out on the road, enjoying the day. Well, we just passed through Marshall, so I think it's time for a fun fact. The Tamales Bay Oyster Company, founded in 1905, is the longest continuously ran oyster company in California. 
115 years they've been shucking oysters. I think that's pretty impressive. But anyway, some more shots of the bay. Just gorgeous. Pretty soon here, the route diverges. As I mentioned at the beginning, we had a, a dual start in San Francisco and also in Richmond. And near Point Reyes, the route split where the San Francisco riders would turn right towards Point Reyes, but the Richmond riders, here we are right here, would actually continue straight or turn left towards Nicasio. And there was a bit of confusion about who was supposed to go where, but uh, we got it all figured out. And yeah, riding all through there, I was not feeling great. I mean, I, I was uh, depleted on my electrolytes, I think. I don't think it was a very smart idea to get a donut at Point Reyes. I probably should have got something salty or something with some protein or something like that. But Charlie helped me out. He gave me a couple salt sticks and that, that really made a difference. So my, my legs were, were thanking him after taking in some electrolytes. But now we're just going on the descent that um, on the other side of that that wood acre descent I was talking about earlier. That was just the climb. All right, we see the ferry terminal. We're making our way back. There's the treaded poles that took out the other rider. So call those out when you're riding with others because they're easy to miss. Or should I say they're easy to hit. Either way, but we see it was a great day and good view of the bay. Good times with good people. Always fun. Always a good time to do a beret. And then we end up back at the marina. Good times. Very thankful for the volunteers providing the refreshments. And thanks for coming along. Hope to ride with you again soon. Bye. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Comment notifications. Comment notifications. Like, share, subscribe. Or don't. See if I care.